in the previous tutorial, we discovered the pipe operator and we used it to read in some data. And in this tutorial, we discovered tibbles and learn how to render them using cable. Okay, so let's, uh, we've read in some data now. So let's have a talk uh, about data objects. So we read in a, a CSV file into an object called edify, which is like a, you know, kind of a big data set with lots and lots of variables in and then we we kind of created a subset of those data that we called energy tib now these data objects um, if I just stick in a code chunk we have this edify object that we created in a previous tutorial and if we have a look at it it looks like this so it's a sort of probably a fairly familiar format. There's lots of rows and columns represent variables. Um, so for example, you know, this first row, it represents the track Senjutsu from the album called Senjutsu. The artist name's the same throughout the data set because they're all Iron Maiden albums. Uh, and then we get all these other variables. That first one's year, I know you can't read it there. Dance ability, energy levels, loudness, speechiness, acousticness, things like that. This data object is known as a tibble. Uh, also, you'll hear them referred to da as data frames. Um, there are subtle differences between a tibble and a data frame, but for the vast majority of people, you can just use those terms interchangeably and it will be fine. Um, so let's have a look at when we render our document. So just to recap, we've got a code chunk here that reads in the data, another a bit of code underneath that creates a subset of the data, but we haven't displayed them. So that's just reading in the data. Then this code chunk asks for a plot of the energy variable against the valence variable. And now this final code chunk that we've just added is asking us to have a look at the data. Now, when we render the document, we get a preview of it here. Um, I changed the theme to darkly in a previous uh, in a, in a previous tutorial. Um, so here we've got this code chunk that just says edify, asks, asks R to, to kind of show us the data. And you can see this is horrible, or it's just horrible sort of text representation of the data. So it doesn't render very nicely. So when you're doing things like, like rendering tables or data frames or anything like that, it's a good idea to use cable which is a function that kind of tidies up tabulated data. So back in our code chunk, if we were to, uh, well, you can either put it directly in the function, I'm gonna pipe it, because I love a pipe. Um, we can pipe the data, so send the data into cable, which is in the knitter package, so knitter cable. And just doing that, if we re-render the document, you can see that now where we had horrible text, we now have a, beauty, a beautifully formatted table. And in fact, we can scroll across using our mouse and scroll down, whatever. It's very, very nice. We can do some other things though. Within cable, we can set a caption. So caption equals, and then quotes, let's say table two, Spotify data for, oops, for Iron Maiden. Now, if we render this, if we scroll across, our table has a nice caption in our rent document. Uh, also, a lot of these values are quite small. Uh, we're getting lots and lots of decimal places. Maybe we want to just round them all off. So if we now are back over in our cable uh, function, if we include digits equals, let's say two, then it will round everything off to do two decimal places. That might be too many, but uh, uh, sorry, too few. Um, if we render the document again, just have a look at how the table changes. Now that we've added that in, 
and now all our like dance ability and energy scores they've all been rounded off to two decimal places so you can do some like very quickly and easily make tables look very neat uh, once we have something as a tibble or a data frame we can reference things inside it using a dollar sign so i'm going to add in another code chunk within our edify object if we want to access like the scores in one of the variables if we put this dollar sign in RStudio gives us a list of all the things within edify so the dollar sign is like saying you know inside so it's, it's so it's like the edify data set within which I want to look at and then you can pick a variable so let's say uh, we went for energy so what this bit of code means is the variable energy within the data frame or tibble called edify. Uh, if we just execute that, you basically get a load of numbers. You get all the scores from the energy variable. You don't get anything else from, from the, the data. You just get the scores in that column. So that's one way to access them. 